going to add one in the show where you have to spot the spot the, uh, the soft thumb in a display of dishes. And if you are the winner tonight, you can get a special gift. Well, now please meet four teams tonight. Uh, welcome team one. <laughs> team two. Teach 
me a lot of valuable lessons. Mm. And I really love reading. So I'm the one that you are all looking for. Please choose me. <coughs> number three. <laughs> Again, and you know the topic for today is who loves reading most and I would like to begin by saying that reading is one of my favorite hobbies in terms of what kinds of books that I read I take interest in reading the books related to self-help or specialized knowledge in the past I didn't really really keen on reading because I was quite addicted to TV or the internet However, uh, and at that time I thought that why have to read a book for a very long time? And um, there's a very wide range of um, live lively and interesting programs on TV or the internet. However, I have changed my mind. I realized that reading books render me, render me a very enormous variety of benefits. I can broaden my high, my hope. I can broaden my horizon uh, in a radical way, not just about very general knowledge like in the, on the internet or TV. Moreover, I can learn to improve my concentration. I can avoid distraction from notification from the social networks like Facebook or emails. Also, reading book is a very convenient way for me to relax. I can read books almost everywhere on a bus or even during my boring class and I read book on a daily basis usually in the morning or after my nap at noon because I really want to, to absorb better the information contained in the books so thank you very much and don't forget to cheers me because I am the odd one today Okay, so the last one, number oh, one Hi, I'm Paul. Uh, you probably know about me uh, so today I'm talking about uh, one of my passion, reading. The first thing I'd like to mention is that I've been an avid reader since I was eight, and I'm so fond of reading all kinds of stuff, and I can read everywhere, even though I don't have a convivial atmosphere. For example, at the hospitals or at the bus stops or in every long journey in my life, I always uh, fill my time with some pieces of writing. As I mentioned above, I love all kinds of uh, uh, book genres, ranging from adventure, thriller, thriller uh, or to fiction books. But I think romance novels is my cup of tea, because the narrative is always emotionally appealing to me, so that I can't put it down to the last page to see if the loving couples could go through all those pangs of love. And finally, I shouldn't forget to mention why I fancy reading books. Books seem like a learning tool, which sparks of my imagination and creative thinking. Books seem like a teacher who broadened my horizons of everything. There are scientific books or even daily journals that you can read every day on the street, so that I can uh, uh, look at the phenomenon from different standpoints and different perspectives. So that's why I always consider all of my books, my priceless treasure, and never for sale. So, I'm definitely a bookworm. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. So, you guys have one minute to discuss with a teammate about the question you want to ask the line up here. In order to decide the person who is the, who loves reading most. Okay, one minute, start.
Well, I have to say that uh, the book that I have re read recently is Fantastic Trees and Where to Find Them. That's a book about uh, there's a lot of kind of creature, mysterious creature, and a guy, a man, he, I forgot the, the character's name, so I said he's a man that he protect the creatures from the evil. Yes, that's all my question. Number three, do you prefer to buy books or borrow from friends or libraries? Well, let's just say that I love uh, buying books from bookstore or on the internet because I love the smell of fresh page and I can touch the book and I can turn pages and can draw or underline my thought in a book. Number one. Number two, what is the draw of book in your life? Well, books plays a significant role in my life. Mm, the one thing that really stands out that books will improve my understanding. The reason for this is because the more I read, the more I understand things completely <coughs> and I can find the true something through the book. The number five, tell me something about the most inspiring character for you and what lesson do you learn from him? Well, um, basically I'm not a <coughs> fan of any specific characters, but I'm, I'm especially fond of all the characters in the Ring of the Short Story series due to many reasons. The first thing I want to say is that in most of the narratives, the main characters are usually found entwined with, entwined with rural poverty and famine, which stop them from like the distant dreams or the lovely relationship that all the normal people are crying for. And this always uh, arouses my deep emotion. And what's more interesting is that the, the rustic and sometimes the humorous and the optimistic writing tones that the author uses when telling stories about the difficult life of the poor. So sometimes she leaves such a silent space for all the readers to fill it with their own sadness. And all of those things makes her story appealing and so inspiring to me. Number two, tell me a lesson you learned from a book. Well, the message that I learned from the last leaf is believe in yourself and never make you vote for fate. Mm, I give for example, the girl in the last leaf has surrendered her life to the leaves. She said when the last leaf forms, she will die. But when she realized that the last leaf still stayed there to, she, to show how wicked she was and she was very stupid and wanted to die. After that, she regains, she realized and she regains and makes full recovery throughout the date. Number four, do you prefer paper books or e-books? Well, I prefer to read paper books. This is because paper books are much safer to the reader. They don't have to read a very lengthy thing on the screen for a very long time. Moreover, paper books do not only contain the information and the knowledge, but they also provide you with uh, a very customer experience. You can feel the sense with your nose, your eyes, or your hands. So I always read printed books. Yes. Number five. Tell me something about your favorite book. My favorite book? Um, maybe it's the <coughs> book that I recently read. Uh, the book I recently read is an interesting book titled The Courage to Be Disliked. And it's an instant, it's an instant bestseller in Japan, and now a global <coughs> phenomenon. The book tells the stories of an unhappy young man who visits a philosopher on the outskirts of his city, seeking for the answer of how to take control of his own life or happiness. And the most significant point I can learn from the book is that our present is not determined by our past. It is actually determined by our purpose. Number one, what are the, the advantages of reading book instead of going to cinema or watching TV? Um, the advantages of a reading book is, um, there are many the advantages of reading book. That um, reading helps our brain to be more active. And reading, reading uh, gives um, give our brain a difficult, a, 
give our brain a different workout of um, a different type of workout than watching TV. Uh, sorry. Um, reading book have a uh, have an advantage than uh, watching TV. That um, reading book give our brain more ad uh, active, and reading book give our brain more uh, a different types of um, workout than watching TV. From written, from reading book, you can find the real you, and um, you can see it. You give you a different perspective of life. In addition, um, a a lot reader can uh, protect you from um, a Alzheimer's disease that um, the type of dem demanding that causes problem with uh, thought, thinking, behavior, um, and um, memory. Number two, can you tell us about one of your favorite writer? Well, I like uh, my favorite writer is Nguyen Nguyen. Yes. When I was a child, I read many many kinds of the book of him. The I can tell I can tell it about the 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 book is. It gives me about more memory, and uh, I that I I I feel when I was a child. So when I read this book, I I feel my my child in the, in his book. So I like him. Number one, no. what what will reading habit be like in the next three years? Will people <coughs> switch to reading e-books instead of the paper books? Well, it's hard to predict the future, but um. I, I think, I guess it's maybe heaven because nowadays most people are carrying their own smartphone and they are they are comfortable to uh, they are comfortable to read online. So mm, in addition, they are available free of cost and because of the ease of access that I think people will definitely um, prefer to read ebook in future um, as compared to uh, read paper-based. Number four, Kindle has emerged as an alternative for people who are in favor of convenience. So do you think that it will become, like, dominate the reading culture in the future? Well, actually, a thing that there's no chance for Kindles to dominate the reading culture, uh, because I've said before, Paper books give me a lot of benefits. We uh, we can dis you can avoid distraction from the social life. I mean the social networks like <coughs> Facebook or emails. Moreover, paper books also give uh, the chance to to expose to the <coughs> customer experience. So I don't think that Kindles can really replace the paper books in the future. Number four. Can you tell me something about the book you like most so far? Okay, I will tell you about a book called Once Upon a Cow. This is a story about a family, who, a very poor family, who lived by the milk of a cow. One day, the cow was killed and it's time for them to realize that they have depended on the cow for too long and without, any, any, without making any difference to their life. And uh, since then, they have learned a lot. They have tried a lot to gain the achievement for their life. And the lesson from the book is that efforts are the number one reason for our success. Number three, what do you think about the benefits of reading for children? Well, I would like to say that uh, reading brings considerable benefit to children. But I would like to mention some potential benefits affecting on children. Mm, the first, firstly, uh, reading how gives children a deep sympathy for others since they sympathize with the characters from the story. And secondly, imagination is grow from reading. So, in my country, parents often give their children iPads or tablets to entertain them with a games or video on the internet. But that do nothing to help children develop their imagination. And finally, um, reading helps to 
children to learn how to uh, read, uh, write about words, and develop their own early literacy skill. Number one, which book has, has inspired you the most? Which books book have inspired, inspired yeah. me? Um, most of the book that I read was the self-help book, and it's, real, uh, it's really inspired me a lot. But um, one of my favorite books is the um, Seven Habits of, Effect of Highly Effective Teens of, the <coughs> of Sean Covey. Um, the author Sean Covey applies the timeless principle, the timeless principle um, of seven habits to teens and top issues and the life changing that they have to face. In, in addition, the author also, um, in an entertaining style, the author provided step-by-step -step guide to uh, to help <coughs> teens to uh, improve their self-image, to uh, build build up friendships, resist the peer pressure, get along with their pa parent, and much more. And in addition, the, the this book is uh, stuffed with cartoons, um, idea, cl clever ideas. Incredible story from uh, all teens uh, from all over the world. So number, yeah. number, number one, um, how do you, <coughs> number five, how do you think about movies which were made ba based on a famous novel? How do you think? I think about movies which were made based on a famous novel. So, uh, sorry, but I don't know what you mean by how do you think. So uh, I, I mean, would say I'm, that. I prefer, I prefer reading books, even when the movies can become such a multi-billion dollar blockbuster or something like that. I also prefer reading books. The key uh, basis for my opinion is that when it comes to reading, uh, I could draw my, the narratives with my <coughs> own imagination. And I would be the director of the book I read. So this will help my brain work more effectively and more smartly, and I love this way of thinking. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, there are many things that can be depicted by a movie. For example, there could be a gap of emotion when the actor or actress couldn't truly understand about the personality of the character they star, so, which happens so many times in so many movies I, I saw before. Okay, time's up. Now you have one minute to discuss with the teammates and give me your answer. Who is the odd one in tonight? Uh, she read books every day on a regular basis before going to bed, 
This means that she had to wind out a trilogy to a wide range of books, but she only mentioned all kinds of book. And so her answers revealed that she didn't read a lot of books. Moreover, when being asked some difficult question relating to the text of the book, she didn't express uh, meticulously that uh, the main ideas about the book or the characters about the book and so on. Okay. Uh, number one, uh, the team one, okay? Uh, who do you think is the odd one in tonight? I think number four is the odd one in tonight because first, she, she shows a really huge passion for reading and she provided us with a very detail of the stories that she had read and she has a very unique perspective on what she had read <laughs> and I believe that the reason why I chose her, yeah. Okay. Okay. I have the reason to believe that the order four is not the odd one in tonight. Because for uh, number five, he said that her uh, his favorite kind of book is romance novel. But her favorite book is is not something is not in that type of book. It is yet mm -hmm. here. So it's mm -hmm. he's definitely not the odd one in tonight. Um he say that ebooks can bring a book, a book can replace paper, paper book. And I believe that paper book will never be replaced in the future. Because as a book lover, they will see that the beauty in, in the paper of the book and we, the feeling when we uh, read it at the page of the book. So I think okay, it's definitely not. And but you, she say that her favorite book is The Lost Cliff, mm -hmm. and it's a very common book that we all know from uh, secondary school. So I think she not. And when she when she described her favorite book, I didn't see the passion in in the way she saying and the descriptive when she when she described the book. So I believe number four is the opening tonight. Okay. How about you? Um. Uh, uh, well, I think uh, I I definitely think her is not the odd one in because uh, she told that she read many kinds of book, but she doesn't mention a particular uh, kind of book that she tends to be read. And I agree with uh, how that uh, she she told that she uh, uh, a book will replace uh, the paper books in the future, so she doesn't. The, the person who read the who live reading. Okay, thank you. And the last thing. Oh, I'll last team choose team. number four to be the odd one in. Because I think that other people have mentioned a lot about the benefits of reading books. However, they, they didn't <coughs> tell us whether they can apply them in reality or whether they can achieve something from this habit. However, and she has her own specific purpose of reading books, like broaden her knowledge or support her major at school. Okay. How about you? Uh, <coughs> hi. Yeah. Uh, the reason I did choose her is the odd one in because uh, when Tho asked her a question that what is the advantages and disadvantages of reading book, and she was confused and she can't, she she did, uh, she couldn't tell clearly about the advantages and disadvantages of this. And I think that if she loves book, reading book, she, she tends to uh, understand clearly about uh, the advantages and disadvantages. So I think her is not the other one. OK, any uh, other reason? Well, uh, in my opinion, I the number five is not the odd one because he doesn't mention that how many books uh, he reads in a month or in a week. <laughs> And um, although he 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 said that he loves all kinds of book genres, and he doesn't say that um, he doesn't give me a, a writing or an author he tend to read more. So, to my mind, book is not the odd one in. Okay, so all all of you guys choose number four is the odd one in tonight. So congratulations, number four, you are the winner tonight. Uh, she is the odd one in tonight. You're all right. So thank you very much and see you next week.